always stood by me since from our days in uh, NAS, student union leader. Every time I'm arrested, whether I'm in a police cell, I'm in a, I'm in a prison, he's always he comes through every time. And you know, he has been there for me several times. So for me, this is like, like I'm the one that just passed on. So it's a personal thing for me. And, uh, it's also a wake up call to me that you know it can be any time. So we also need to start preparing that when God decides to call us, that um, you know we can give proper account of what uh, our journey here. You know, Aria was always the diplomatic one. I was always the problematic one. You know, and um, I learned so many lessons from him. And he was always the peacemaker. And. You know, Ario was just amazing and he was always considerate. Even in death, he was considerate. You know, they, they, we were with him from beginning to the end, to the last moment, when he finally uh, went to meet his maker. And all I saw through him, we're extremely grateful and we hope that uh, you know, uh, he's resting in the bosom of the Lord. How do you think that keeps his legacy alive? Yes, the biggest way to keep his legacy alive. It's for political actors, especially in the forthcoming election, you know, to play by the rules all through his life. You know, one of the things that Ariel was known for the most is this electoral act and beavers. We hope that politicians will not subvert beavers. You know, they will comply by the rules you know, and allow elections to count. If citizens vote candidates A or B, let the will of the citizens you know, prevail. That is the biggest way for us to sustain his legacy. Ariel was always at the forefront of you know, the electoral reform and advocacy. Even when he was standing alone in front of the National Assembly, he was always consistent on this issue. Thank you. Thank you.